Can you hold the tripod steady, RJ? I want to get that white egret before it flies away. I'm trying. This dock's a little rocky. Oh no, now the sun's in my eyes. Yeah, look. The sunlight's reflecting right into the camera lens. Ah, uh, why does it always do that? Well, light travels in a straight line, right? Yeah, I know that. So when it hits smooth, shiny surfaces like water or metal, a mirror image of the light source is reflected or bounces off. And ends up over here? How? Simple. Angle in equals angle out. Angle of what? The angle of incidence. It's the angle at which light hits a surface. That makes sense. Incidence. For the angle light comes in. And out's the angle of reflection. The angle at which light bounces off a surface. Reflect means bounce off. I get it. So when light hits smooth, shiny surfaces like water, it reflects off at the same angle it comes in. The angle of reflection equals the angle of incidence. Gotcha. That means if we check out the angle of the rays, we can move the camera so the reflection doesn't hit us. Brilliant thinking. Here, this works. Oh no, there goes the egret. <sighs> well, maybe it'll come back later. Let's get some shots of that funky red boat. The color's really good. Yeah, and no reflection. Why's that? For two reasons. First, remember what we learned about light and color in class? When light hits a surface, some of its colors are absorbed taken in and not reflected. Oh, yeah. And we only see the colors that are reflected, like the red and yellow on the boat. Yep. But also, the boat has a rough surface. Unlike water, which has a smooth surface that reflects most of the light, the rough surface diffuses the light. That means it sends it in many directions. And since the light doesn't reflect in just one direction, there's no mere reflection? Exactly. RJ, look! Is that rope bending? <laughs> the rope's not bending, but the light is. Come on, how can light bend? When light passes from one substance into another, like from the air into the water, the light waves will bend. Instead of being reflected, the light waves hit the water, bend, and travel downward. It's called refraction. Weird. But true. The light bends right at the point where it leaves the air and goes into the water. I gotta get a shot of that. Nice! Wow, light's got so many cool qualities. Light that's reflected changes direction when it bounces off a shiny, smooth surface like water or a mirror or even metal. When it does, the angle of reflection is the same as the angle of incidence, the angle at which the light hits. And light that's refracted is bent as it passes from one substance into another. Refracted light makes objects look bent. And last of all, light can be absorbed or taken into a substance, and that affects the colors we see. I think all this light stuff will help me take even better photos. Well, you better snap to it. The egret's back. Oh, man, I gotta get this. A reflected, refracted action shot. <laughs>